Richard Southern joins us now to chat about some of the day's top business stories, including slumping supply in the Toronto housing market. Slumping supply, yes, but uh, prices are going up as, as well. I mean, it's that story just getting more and more pronounced, Melissa, in that uh, there's not many houses out there. The ones that are out there are getting mighty expensive. Yeah, we got the housing numbers in for the month of August for Toronto. And uh, inventory down 43% year on year in August. The number of homes sold fell 20%, but that had the... Uh, the, the effect of pushing prices even higher. The average selling price in Toronto last month up 13% to 1.07 million. It's even more than 905. Remember when houses used to be cheaper than 905? Not anymore. The average price there above 1.1 million. Uh, this is according to the uh, Toronto uh, Regional Real Estate Board. That board, Melissa, believes that market conditions will become even tighter next year, what with Toronto's population expected to rise. Oh, Yikes. Getting expensive, expensive to buy a home here. I'll just have to take a cardboard box instead. <laughs> I think I'll join you there, Richard. <laughs> now, one of Elon Musk's more outrageous creations won't be ready as early as promised. Do you remember the Cybertruck when he announced that? Right, yeah. So cool looking. He actually said the Elon Musk. He based it on Blade Runner on that movie, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, he's uh, it's going to be delayed. It was supposed to be out this year. There it is right there. Funky looking thing. Uh, Musk said today it's not going to go into production until next year. And he said the reason is that, you know, there's a lot of new technology in this all electric pickup truck. That's why it's going to take so long to come to market. Of course, Tesla is noted for its late deliveries and its schedules getting pushed back. Uh, this truck, by the way, expected to start at 53,000 here in Canada. All aluminum. I could see you flying down the parkway in that thing, <laughs> Melissa. It's massive. I don't know if it's really my big, taste, maybe. but kind of massive. <laughs> but hey, 53,000, sure. Why, <laughs> why not? Why we'll not? take two. Let's we'll take two. <laughs> and, and forego the house. How about that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Friday, so let's wrap things up on a slightly lighter note. Some unusual celebrity items are expected to fetch some big money on the auction block. Yes, a pair of used underwear hitting the auction block this weekend. Melissa, you're saying who would want a pair of used underwear? <laughs> Um, I don't know the answer to that, but these particular pairs belong to Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player ever to play the game. The starting bid on these boxer shorts is going to be 500 bucks, so it could go up from there. The auction house says they were, quote, definite use, and there's some loose threads and evident seams, if you're so interested. Meantime, also hitting the auction block this weekend, a jumpsuit worn by Elvis Presley, and this thing is expected to go for around $350,000. Presley uh, wore this uh, suit uh, in 1972 for some famous performances at Madison Square Garden. If you want the matching cape, and of course you want the matching cape, Melissa, it'll go for another $50,000, they think. Wow. Wow, oh, everything's just so expensive talking to you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> expensive house, expensive underwear, expensive truck. I'm sorry about that. All right, well, thank you so much, Richard. That's uh, 680 Business Editor Richard Southern.